Okay, so let's see. We're back after that crash. Hopefully you guys didn't mind sitting there watching Paige hover in air. Listening to Junket like I was forcing you to do. I can't interrupt his stories. They're so infrequent and rare. Plus, I don't know how often he repeats them, if he ever even will again, so... It might be your only chance to ever hear Junket's stories. And they're most definitely worth listening to. We're gonna continue making our way up the valley here, though. Maybe. I might actually get too steep, huh? Can I... Can I crosswalk... Crab walk up this? I might make it. I'm gonna fucking do it. You're damn right I did it. I done it. We need to eat and uh, do some other stuff as well, too. Oh, I, think my, I think it's my calories that are low. Let's see. We'll eat. I don't need protein. I need... I don't need protein. I need lots of carbohydrates. Pork and beans. Damn, that's 60 protein. Sugar bombs. 100 grams of carbohydrates. There we go. That should send my calories through the roof. Holy crap, Deathclaw. I can I I saw him right there. Where are you at, Rex? I don't think Rex is trying to climb up hills this steep, unfortunately. It's just me. Come here, Deathclaw. He'll be charging over the hill to me soon as soon as his pathing catches up. And I'm gonna shoot him in the head with that gun. All I've got is it left, really. Good lord, they're ugly bastards. Stealth field time. I don't know how well it'll work or how close I'll be able to get. Look at them. These aren't baby death claws. These aren't death death claws. Like the ones me and Ted ran into. These are full grown, rock biting, mountain death claws. If I can help it, I'm actually going to avoid killing them. Got more stuff way back there. That might be a tree. Where are you at, Mr. Quigley? Yes. God damn it. I hate that sound. Every time my stealth field runs down, that sound is going to make me scream. Are you actually hunting something, Mr. Deathclaw? Do you have a scent of me on the, on the wind? Just trailing through the canyons on a faint breeze. We might have made it past it. I actually need nutrients and more calories. Trying to get my mood up here. My mood boost. My uh, improved needs. Let's see, gecko steak. I'll eat two gumdrops and a gecko steak. There we go. That should put me in some type of food coma. Oh, Rex. He's never going to be able to find me. I really shouldn't have left him like that. Surely he'll find a way around at some point. He's a smart dog. He's capable. I think. Um, actually, we're going to go to the top of this hill here. Take a look around real quick. It's 2.30 a.m. It won't be too much longer before the sun comes up. We made it through the majority of the night. Relatively unscathed. Holy shit. A fiend camp. I have a 72% chance for the head. And there are Cazadors behind me as well. And this, yeah, we, and there's a fiend in the bushes. She's my immediate threat. Because she's got a caravan shotgun. Aimed right at me. Yeah. And her big horn helmet didn't do much to offer her protection. You've got a P94 plasma rifle, but you can't aim with it. Thankfully, I can aim. You're gonna eat my spleen? Let's see about that, buddy. You don't even have a weapon. Torso shots for you. Right in the shoulder blades. Anyone else? I didn't come all this way to be taken down by a bunch of fiends, by any means. Let's see, three frag grenades in there. I could use that for the gunpowder. But at the same time, I don't have much weight to work with here. I've got four pounds. I need to get rid of this um, combat armor, Mark II combat armor that I've got. It's almost as good as um, my Brotherhood armor here, my power armor. 
fact, this is down to 11 DT because it's already had its condition completely worn out. Good lord, I... There has to be a way for me to repair armor by myself with scrap metal or something. Um, yeah, I can't really pick any of this stuff up. Frag grenades. Weigh half a pound each. Too heavy. I will take these ammo parts. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave the P94 plasma rifle. It weighs 12 pounds. Again, it's not like they're that rare out here anyways. I think the Brotherhood's gonna miss me not bringing it back. A little bit of 556. Five, he had a varmint rifle, but apparently he thought he was gonna dance on my face with his brass knuckles. Still no sign of Rex. I don't see him moving down there. He's probably picking his way through the canyon side right now. He knows where I'm at. Let's see. What does my map say? Actually, he's still back there like a derp, so he probably doesn't. We need to head straight down this way. Try not to fall to my doom. This power arm will take you down like a stone if you fall over a cliff face. Got another camp back there, but... Oh, got fire geckos in it. Friendly fire geckos? Dead fiends back there. It's like the fire geckos invaded while they were maybe eaten. Not something I want to get, get involved in. Yikes. That would be bad, that would be bad. So what is Mr. Quigley, hanging out down there with the, um... The Enclave? Is that what he's doing? I hear gunshots down there. I see guns firing. He's he's down there, alright. Somebody is. Shit. I need to go before the, um, the Enclave kill him. Even though they would actually be doing me a favor. I know they're not gonna cut off his finger and take it worry about losing my bounty. And it's not like I'm going to get any satisfaction from shooting the man. I don't have a personal grudge against him. Oh, I don't want to jump down any of these edges. About over here. Wow. Yeah, I see your wings up there. Just, um, please stay there. I'm going to use a stealth field. Try to slide down this one without getting killed. Tumbling head over head. Head over feet anyways. There we go. Just stay up there, please. I am sneaking around and fully loaded and cumbered with combat with power armor on, so... I'm not sneaky by any means. I'm still a loud, clumbering, invisible thing. Of course. It didn't last that long at all. That'd be enough time to sneak through a door, maybe, before it ran out. Okay. Reload once. Bet the Enclave's gonna be surprised if they see a Brotherhood member running down straight towards some guns blazing here in a moment. We're gonna kill them as we move through. And we are gonna recover these vertebrates. I'm gonna send my villagers after them. We'll move them back to the village to junction. Do something with them there. There's the campfire. Bunch of dead geckos probably hunted for food. Or shot in self-defense. You never know. Or shot for fun. Any number of possibilities. Hey, Rex. There you are. Good job, boy. You found the camp. Thanks for leading me to it. Tom Quigley. He's got the Ferguson rifle. This almost don't even seem fair. He's got no idea I'm here. here. But I know he'll shoot me. There he goes. Hey, at least you saw me, buddy. That's more than can be said for most people. Where are we going? You have any friends, Mr. Quigley? We'll check his corpse in a moment. Hopefully the Enclave aren't too alerted. See, in his duffel bag, he's got some 5.56, five, mm, a little bit of food, and a whore tape. Yeehaw. Note added. Let's see. Is this what we were sent after you for? 
Mind you old fucking slut ass cock burning scream whore 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 scratching burning fondle voices talking crying beckoning 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 Alzared speaks Yeah Mr. Quigley you were pretty fucked up Oh I guess some type of justice might have been served here Now about the Enclave members I guess I better drink something first we're going into battle here. Let's see, what do we got on the menu today? Two purified waters, two Nuka Colas. Should bring us up to par. And he's got 44 Magnum ammo. Quigley's finger we chop off. And the Ferguson rifle. Weighs five pounds. We'll take it. it leaves us one under. I'll leave his outfit. I do kind of like that outfit, but... Eh. I don't have the room for it. Now let's set up this Ferguson rifle, because I think we're going to use it if I've got ammo for it. Is it called THE Ferguson? Yeah. Uses 44 mag ammo. That's not bad. Put that over the cowboy repeater for now. And actually, can I mod it by chance? No. I haven't found too many mods yet. <clears throat> I'm still messing with my loot tables too, by the way, so... I don't know, we might be getting more mods in the future. I downloaded a mod that um, adds WME's mods to the loot table. I think that might have been what was screwing things up originally. Oh, man, it's just too damn dark. No, it's not. It's not too damn dark to attack them. Choose our stealth field here. Does not last very long. I'm not sure how many. We'll move over here. I'm gonna hide behind another rock again when I start taking pot shots at him. Ooh, some barrel cactus. So we got just three of them, maybe. We'll cycle through. We've got one soldier there, one there, one there. They're all in a row. Four of them. Five of them. Yikes. No Rex, bad, 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 horrible, bad Rex, bad dog, bad. Well, let's see, what do we need? I'm going to need plenty of AP, so we're going to use some rebound. I'm probably going to get shot, so I do want some medics. Um, I'm just going to get all drugged the fuck up here, let's see. I'm going to have to go pay to clear my addiction at some point as well. I don't need any of that. How's my body parts looking? They're all good. Okay, let's let's fight Rex then. Let's see. He's got a Watch 2000. I'm just gonna go for three shots on his torso. I don't have a very good chance to hit him with this gun, unfortunately, at this distance. Does not go through his armor at all. There's one down. Um, you know what? Grenade away. Even though I think that was a pulse grenade. Yeah, another grenade away. You guys like diving on grenades, by chance? There we go. That gibbed two of them. Pretty sure. I think I saw their arms and stuff flying off. Yeah. Oh, your, your measly little laser weapons. You've gained animal control perk, rank one. Critically shot him. I don't know if he's dead or not. He looks stunned. Come on, pump a few more into him. I think our stray bullet killed the um, Brahmin back there. Critical strike ripped right through his uh, his throat plate. Dropped him. That guy's alive, yeah. Just unload on him while he's down. <sighs> the bastards still aren't as difficult as I want them to be. I honestly would like it if I was not able to take on a full enclave group by myself. If I had to actually recruit some help. So let's see. Um, I'll take some multivitamins. Because my nutrients are running low. And I'm just going to have to leave their armor, unfortunately. I'll have to come back to this at some point. All of their enclave armor. Plenty of it laying around. Yep, whenever I send the villagers to get this um, vertebird, we'll recover it. I'll also have them load up the bodies. Or take the armor anyways. Throw the armor in there and bring it back. Let's see. Did I get shot and hurt? I'm just extremely slow. 
It's past our bedtime. We're perked. We're doing good. It's 4 o'clock. The sun's about ready to come up. We've spilled some Enclave blood. We have Tom Quigley's finger. Um, I've actually done some stuff, I guess, today. Instead of just exploring and stumbling around, which is always fun, don't get me wrong. Let's see, a hacked Mark II out there. And I swear that is a large scorpion or something. Might have been killed by the robot. Uh, as soon as Rex wakes up, there he is. Come on, Rex. Let's fast travel back. We're out of here. We are gone. World map says, let's see, do I have any locations close to here? No. I most certainly don't. We're not going anywhere yet. <clears throat> I want to go check this building then. Harvest some jalapenos. I would like a, a fast travel location here. This building looks like it might be something. It's got plenty of technology on the roof. That would normally be pillaged. Probably a fiend house or something. No, I don't know if they're organized and even mentally capable of using this, this type of stuff. Rex, just please keep your wits about you and don't charge needlessly, recklessly forward. This place is smoking. Why? That's my question. Recently burned? Got Violet, a fiend over there, perhaps. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to this side of the building and look for a door. Gotta be somewhere we can go in. We've discovered Free Tech Broadcast Building. Most certainly not filled with friendlies. Even though they've got no one guarding it. Like I say, it's probably not an organized force. Door to broadcast building upper levels. If it was an organized force, they would be out here. But a fiend is going to say, fuck you. I'm not gonna go on guard duty. Huh. Can steal from them. I don't... This place must be friendly, then. I don't think that the fiends care if you steal from them. Holy shit, I'm still in my brotherhood armor, so we're probably gonna get shot here. Depending on who's inside. Let's quickly switch out of that. Please don't shoot me. I come in peace. It's simply a Halloween costume. Well. Roulette away, I guess. We'll give it a moment. There we go. Oh god, there are people in here. Quickly bring up my pit boy and try to switch out of my combat, out of my um, power armor here. Even though the game is um, dying, as I'm sure you can hear. Um, so let's see. We'll switch over to the combat armor Mark II, and we'll put the um, reinforced helmet here on. There we go. So who do we have? Underground trooper, Corporal Lamb. I think we might have switched out of the armor just in time. Even though we are over encumbered now. Um, I'll take my night vision off. You can see my visor overlay. This is what we're in right now. Combat Armor Mark II. Not bad. At the top of the screen you can see my helmet. Um, duct tape. Mark VI turret. Hello what Underground you? Trooper. What is this place? What are you guys doing here? Bye. Who's that guy in the back with the fancy hair? Corporal Lamb. Hey, he says. Survival, 20 and 50, don't have enough. What is this place? This is the Free Tech Broadcast Tower and safest entrance to the underground in all of the Mojave. And what is the underground? It's our home. Well, some of it is anyways. It used to be ours. Between mutants and raiders? Oh, fuck this guy. Junket's talking. Since time immemorial, a young woman did not fall and her husband's embrace. Hey. Something about women farting around their husbands. <laughs> okay, maybe we should have just continued listening to Liam here. Lamb. I gotta drop something. I am 18 pounds over. 
Oh, I can't drop 18 pounds of stuff. Are they serious? I can't put my armor back on while I'm here. Because they will... I, I, I'm convinced they'll shoot me, even though I haven't seen it. I haven't, from these guys. I don't think anyone likes the Brotherhood of Steel and... And the new lore, if they ever did. Um, motorcycle gas tank, five pounds. Get out of here. Medical brace, two pounds. You're gone. Lunchbox, tin can, shot glass. Sixteen empty water bottles. Out of here. Nine Nuka Cola bottles. You're gone. Pre war book, no. Scalpel. Don't need a scalpel. Um, scrap metal, no. RTS scrap, drop it all. Sunset Sarsaparilla. I have seven star bottle caps, for whatever those are worth. Drop that spoiled food. There we go. No longer overweight. Underground Trooper. Roach. Yeah. Tell me something. Go ahead. Is there anything I can do to help around here? Yeah, well, there are a few things, if you have the time. Well, tell me. I'm listening. Since before the war, I've been making music, and from up then, then, then until now, those are there are those who sought to destroy or steal it. Not long ago, I finally got wise and started installing tracking chips in all my audio discs. I found a few of my missing discs are still in the local area. If you can, I want you to find these discs and bring them back to me. The area seemed to be defended, but to an experienced adventurer like yourself, I imagine the opposition will be a walkover. So what do you say? Can you help me out? I promise I'll reward you well. Um, I'll take another quest. Yeah, I'll help you. Wow, really? Thanks. Here, I'll give you the locations. Have a good day, Roach. Quest added. Roach's quest. Okay, not bad. This place is, um, rather interesting design. Hard locked door. What do we got up here? The broadcasting area. You guys need help with anything? Generators, boxes. Hey. Eddie? The glowing? Wow. Eddie Gerderfer. What's your story? Eddie Merk Burder Gerded, Erp Sunker Gerred, and Eddie Likened were Urch Brackier. Goodbye. Bye bye. I don't speak ghoul very well. Here's Hayward. Hey. Who are you? I'm Hayward. I'm the one who fixed up all the weapons around here to fire properly. I have a few weapons and parts that I can sell you, as long as you've got the caps. Hey, well, show me. Hey, repair some of my stuff, actually. He's got a repair skill of 100, which means everything he can possibly repair for me is going to be extremely expensive. Wow, to repair my power armor would be 9,000 caps? I can't repair any of this stuff then, can I? Even to repair my cult, 650 caps. My combat armor would be 13,000 caps. Fuck you, what do you have for sale? I don't have much, but it's all good stuff. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find a mod where I can use my repair skill to repair stuff with scrap metal and stuff like that. Gotta find a way, gotta find a use for that repair skill, damn it. So let's see, of course I could go grab all the Enclave armor at some point and sell all of that. AR scanner implant. Um, I'm gonna sell this. I'm never gonna use this scanner. I don't want that information whenever I go to VATS. I don't want those the, those things to highlight. I don't really care for it. So we'll sell that. What other things do I have? Combat armor mark two. I'll keep that. I got most of his caps. I'm gonna buy a bunch of ammo from him as well. The PPK. I might sell that. Ferguson rifles expensive. Tommy guns expensive. Okay. So let's see. What do you got? You're right. You don't have much. You weren't lying. Your stock is very low. We'll buy some five five six. Buy some more 556. He still owes us 4,000 caps. We're not in any danger of going broke. He's got a couple mods here as well. Hammer, laser beam, focus, splitter, optics. Light machine gun. Oh, look at that, 9,000 caps. My barter is not very good. Tesla cannon, amplifier, a riot shotgun. A multi-pass rifle. Multi-plasma rifle, wow. Marksman Carbine that uses 308 rounds. Plenty of great fun stuff. Just nothing that I actually want or can afford. So let's see, we're going to buy a whole bunch of his ammo here then. I'm not even going to worry about what I'm buying. I'm just going to throw down some caps for it. There we go. Pay for it. Swap it. I don't need any of this. Actually, some 9mm I do need. 
10 millimeter. Yes. There we go. So now we've got plenty of caps. 4,500 uh, caps. Pleasure's all mine, Hayward. Even though you are an expensive bastard. Eddie, please don't get mad. Ammo box requires key. Roach's bodyguard. Probably his girlfriend. Anybody in here? Nice little room. Man, they've got this place stockpiled rather well. Queen-sized bed. The sheets don't stink and they don't look too stained. Awesome. Reloading bench, workbench, marksman carbine. Let's see at the workbench. Can I repair anything? Recharge stealth boy? No. Actually, if I was going to repair it, it would be... If I was going to use scrap to repair stuff, it would be on the apparel screen with R. And it would be, uh, you would press it to repair, and apparently I can't. What can we make at the reloading bench? I do need... 5.56 five, ammo. Because that's the primary gun ammo for that gun. 5.56. Five, Armor piercing. Yeah, but that uses more parts. That uses one more lead, one more rifle, powder. Jacketed hollow point. So full metal jacket is the worst of the worst that you can make. 5.56. Five, five, for the most part, that's what I want to make here. How much of it? I can make 55 of it. Okay, we'll make 55 of that. And um, let's break down some stuff here as well. We'll break down frag grenades to gunpowder. Break down five of them. And then on the... Let's see, what else do we got? Frag mine to gunpowder. Break down five of those as well. Frag mines are very situational. I won't be using those too often. Break down pistol and... Rifle powder to missile powder. No, I don't need missile powder. Break down scrap metal to brass. Yes. Break down about half of the scrap metal to brass. There we go. And break down scrap metal to lead. Break down ten of it. I'll leave one piece of scrap metal. Let's see, what else do I need? How much 5.56 five, can I make now? I think I need to make casing for 556. Five, yeah, make um, make 100 casing. There we go. Got a new perk. Got 75 experience from it. Let's see. We are over encumbered and cannot run. Oh no. Cycle through in the top left. 10 scrap metal added. 500 brass added. Come on. I know I'm over encumbered. 2,000 lead. Hey. Crafty Veteran. Craft, uh, yeah, 200 cases for 556. Five, okay. I guess that's it. So let's make some more 556 five, then. Ammo. 556. Five, you know what? Did I break down my fucking ammo just a minute ago? I think I did, like a derp. I didn't see breakdown here. God dang it. I think that's what I did. Oh well. Y'all can quit typing your comments now, I think. Um, 556 five, NATO. No. Jacketed Hollow Point match. What do I want to make? Got plenty of lead. 3,000 lead, 1,000. Yeah, we're gonna make plenty of ammo. I need more primer for small rifle, though. Break down. I need, how do I break it down to primer? Casing, primer, large pistol, large rifle. What do I need for 5.56? Five, five, for hollow points, I need small rifle. That's fine. Um, small rifle, primer. There we go. How many? 100. It takes brass and um, rifle powder. We're just going to make 50 for now. I don't want to make too much. And let's not break down my my limited ammo that I've got. Let's um, create some. Well, actually armor piercing takes the same amount of resources as jacketed hollow point. Matched ammo takes one more lead. I'm, I'm interested in testing that out. We'll make 100 of it. There we go. And how much more can I make? Make another 100. There we go. Um, yes. So we should have... I can switch to that gun. That's armor piercing. There we go. 194 rounds. Yeah, we're good for a while now. Got more than enough ammo to shoot through whatever's going to come our way. Liam, where are you at? Lamb. 
I never should have let you go for Junket's fart joke or whatever you told. So you back out here. Sorry about littering up your, your home too, by the way. You guys might have a use for it. Hello, Corporal Lamb. So what is this place? I want to find out. Free broadcast tower? What is the underground? It's our home. Well, some, anyways. It used to all be ours. Between mutants and raiders, we've had to abandon over three quarters of the place, though. It was built as a safe haven from the war over 200 years ago. There's caves down there, as big as whole cities. And who are you? I'm Corporal Lamb. It's my job to watch over this area and make sure no fiends or tech raiders try to sneak in. The fiends, in particular, have become a constant nuisance as of late. I believe they've joined with our old enemy, the tech raiders. Now they're constantly pestering anyone who comes near us, despite the best efforts of our snipers. Um, I'll fail this check. Let's, why not? No, nope, we've got too many problems right now to go worrying about other people's troubles. Hey. Uh, I'll see you later then. So, I believe this is part of the, um, a World of Pain mod. Hey. I guess this is an area to the underground, which is supposed to be extremely huge. There are supposed to be, um... Yeah, it's a very huge area down here, with mutants, ghouls, huge tunnels leading all over the place. I know some of you are probably like, oh, go there right now, go check it out. Um, I will be going there eventually. Trooper Holmstrong. Hey, he says. Never mind. Back hey. drinking your hey. coffee. He's setting at the coffee maker. He's just down in cup after cup as soon as it's um, pumped out of the machine there. Nice. I like this place. Hello. You okay, Doc? Underground what do you need? doctor. Doctor Vandering. Depends. What are you offering? Um. I think I might be addicted to something. Simple enough. Um. Go ahead and cure me, Doc. Go ahead and hold Hello. still. Don't want to make it any more painful than it already is. We'll get cured up and healed up from the doctor here, and um, then we're going to go back to Junction, drop off some loot. I might um, actually off-screen running the Enclave armor back and forth between the village, and I'm going to off-screen moving the vertebrates because that's just console commands. I'm going to copy the vertebrates, delete their reference from the world here, and move their reference to the village. That's how I'm going to do that. But story-wise, just imagine that I sent the villagers out to pick it up, okay? I can't actually do that. I don't, I, it's impossible to program. So let's see. I need medical supplies. I am rather radiated. So please cure me. And a quick shot. All done. That's not Med X, is it? Um, I could use some help. I don't see anything wrong with you. I was just joking. You're a good doctor. Um, I need some medical supplies. Check out my inventory. So what does she got for us? Bone saw, chainsaws, no. Carton of cigarettes, crutch. Never glow? Minus four rads for 1.7 minutes. Rad resistance of plus 10. I'm going to take that. That is extremely um, fancy. I've never seen anything quite like it. We'll buy it. Rad away. I've got plenty of that. I've got plenty of all this stuff at this point. Um, I will buy three super stim packs. Pleasure doing Decent business chunk of caps going back her Bye. way. I'm fine with it. Pleasure's all mine, Vandenberg. Vandering. Vandaroon. Anybody up for a game of pool? I didn't think so. Underground citizen. Door to broadcast building lower levels. Okay, I'll peek in here. I will look in here. But I'm not going exploring because it'll take hours to do. I'm almost positive of it. This is going to be something that I, I may do on this character. I may try to save it for a permadeath character. Try to sneak them through here. So I have no doubt that Paige could do it. Anybody... Anybody down here? Any unfriendlies? Underground sentry bot? Got radios? No, still friendly people to hear them. Not making me any less paranoid, by any means. So you got offices here. Any bobbleheads? Well, hello there. You're fancily equipped. Nice gun. Um, what about through here? further down we go I guess we'll I'll probably stop whenever I see a door that says to the underground man this building loves these these hallways conductors of all types to treasure trove leaf blowers duct tapes 
Scrap electronics. Hello. Wait a second. A working? Okay. It's one of those plasma balls. I thought it was a working fan. For some reason, that seems like it'd be extremely weird here. I've never seen any of those fans on the desks actually working. They're always rusted and... Um, unpowered. Door to residential sector. I guess we'll see what's in here, too.